Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if y'all ain't heard, you know, uh, it, finally had, it's, it finally happened. You know, a 12 team playoff, you know, supposed to be taking place around 2023, 2024. And I'm happy for it. Like, right? you know, I'm, I'm going to give you the strength, strength and weaknesses of this, you know. But I'm happy for it. I'm all for it. You know? The weakness, I'm start off with the weaknesses. The weakness would be because, you know, like, people say, oh, like, they gonna they gonna make the season less entertaining because you can have a two loss team still make the playoffs and all this and all that or like uh you gonna see the same teams playing all the time still and it's still gonna be a top four team like Alabama Ohio State Clemson like because they gonna be playing like you know. Let's say a Cincinnati team, first round or whatever, you know, or they get a bye week, or you know, some crazy stuff like that. Like, the only people who who really want it to stay four teams or the Notre Dame, the Alabama fans, the Clemson fan, Ohio State fan, and we all know why. You know, I'm gonna make another video on that. Uh, uh, the teams who wouldn't benefit from the standard playoffs, but this one is the strength and weaknesses of the playoffs, you know. The standard eight to 12 team playoffs, so try not make too long. You know, I say that every time, but, you know, you know, getting 15 minutes long video. Anyway, like, like I said, weaknesses, people say it, the, the season won't be entertaining because, you know, you can still lose a game or two and probably still make the playoffs and all that. But, Y'all don't really think like how way better. The, um, the strength is way the strengths outweigh the weaknesses of the standard player. Okay, the, like I said, I need like three. You might have like three or four weaknesses from it, but the strength, the strength. Okay, think about uh, bowl season. Most of the bowl seasons are irrelevant anyway. Like who want to watch Rutgers versus uh, Arizona play? Like come on. That you got like a, a, a you know, a, a best friend or a cousin or, you know, brother, sibling, you know, somebody you know play for the workers or in Arizona or something. Like, who want to watch that? Like, delete some of them bowl games. Like, they're like 64 bowl games and only like 25 really get watched out of them bowl games. So, anyway, but... I guess I'm gonna get back to the strengths. I, I would say the weaknesses. It's some, it'll probably be some more weaknesses. You know, y'all can tell me in the comment section or whatever. But the strengths, like I say, you, like I said, bowl season, opt out. Bowl season, like it's not even fun no more. It's not. Like, that Florida versus Oklahoma game could have been a game of the year. I would love to see a Spencer Rattler versus Kyle Trask. You know, Marvin Mims, uh, Jaden Hasselwood. Uh, Theo Weiss, or Charles and Rambo, and um, oh, who I feel like I missed somebody. Mark Mills, David Hasselwood, Theo Weiss. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Versus uh, Darius Tony, Kyle Pitts, Trayvon Grimes. You know, even Joe Jacob Copeland got sick. Let's, you know, let's assume he didn't. But uh, Jacob Copeland, like, come on, man. You know, that game could have been. I bet the game of the year, like easily could have been a game of the year. Florida versus Oklahoma, uh, our full strength Oklahoma team versus full strength Florida team. Come on, dog! Like that would college football would be fun, but no, it's a regular bowl game. Kyle Pitts out there, Trevon Grimes out there. I don't know why he out there though. You know, Kadarius Tony out there. So it just wasn't the same game no more. Like Florida Oklahoma, like when y'all I seen them. Every East player out of that, like each player out of that floor, there was like a seven touchdown loss. You no, know, Kyle Pitts out of that, okay, that's seven points. And there's Tony out of that, that's probably another 14 points. You no, know, Trayvon Grimes out of that, is like, you know, 17 points. And all the other players, so really, all the other players out of that, like Florida really was destined to lose by at least 14 points. You know, basically, at least. 
You know, if Florida lost by 14 or less points, it would have been reasonable. Like you say, Florida try, you know, whatever. But instead, no, they get blowed out, dominated. And all the Oklahoma B12 fans got to brag about, you know, being blowing out Florida, embarrassing Florida, and they beat Georgia and all that. You know, and, and had a close game in Alabama. Like, bro, y'all did not play the same Florida team that Georgia and Alabama played and all that. Like, come on, get out of here with fools. But, anyway, strength of strength. Like I say, uh, most of the time, you know, like I said, our whole conference is not the same. Like, the fifth best team in the SEC record wise, I don't say record wise, because, you know, Georgia was like, record wise, Georgia was like fourth last season. You know, Alabama, Texas, and them, man. You know, Florida was ahead of uh, Georgia in the rankings. And then, you know, Georgia fourth. So, let's say the fourth best team in the SEC is, is easily, is easily better than the second best team in other conference. Georgia, you know, was easily better than uh, Notre Dame. Well, there was an ACC championship last year. So I'm going to say Notre Dame. No. Better than Iowa State. Better than Oregon and USC. Uh, better than, I mean, I mean, I, I feel like that Georgia was better than Iowa State. Iowa State didn't impress me last season, you know. But they were better than uh, Wisconsin. I, I was not. Northwestern, I meant. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, the fourth best team in the SEC be better than the second best team in other conferences. That's just number facts. So we gotta punish a team for losing the Bama versus you. You get to play. You got Clemson who playing a two or three loss team in the ACC championship. Uh, Ohio State playing a no offense team in the Big Ten championship. Well, I'm saying no pass threat, uh, no pass threat team in the Big Ten championship. We got the Pac-12 championship. They don't even really make it like that anyway, you know. But Big 12 championship, most likely an over, I ain't gonna say overrated, but an overachievable Big 12 team like Iowa State been did and, and Baylor, you know, and all that. So, all comes not the same. So, and they don't want to do that because you will see that three, you will see like three to four, you know, SEC team. Like SEC will take up one third of the playoffs with Belmo, uh Georgia, LSU, and Florida. And potentially Auburn testing them. Like you that's why they don't really want it. They scared. And they know that's when the Clemson and Ohio State's come in. Like, what if Ohio State had to play a uh, Tesla and them first game and they beat Tesla and them, then they had to play Georgia, you know, or LSU the second game, then they lose. Like it will hurt the Big Ten Conference. Or uh, in Clemson. You know, it would, it would expose those teams who make it to the playoffs. Definitely Notre Dame. Like, Notre Dame would definitely, you know, get out in the first round. Oklahoma, maybe. You know. That's another strength. Uh, I really, I really already said it. Oh, yeah, this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain this. And then I'm going to uh, go to my next video about teams who wouldn't benefit from, um, Teams who would benefit and won't benefit from the uh, standard playoff. So, let's say this. The reason why playoffs need to be expanded so it can avoid stuff like this. Like, you got, let's say, uh, this year, Georgia and, over, uh, Georgia and Clemson play game one. So, let's say, you know, Georgia, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it simple, make it too long. So, okay, let's say you got a four teams. Let's say Alabama. Uh, let's say Georgia first. <laughs> uh, Oklahoma second. And then Ohio State third. And then Clemson fourth. Wait. Oh, let me, let me, let me go. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing, man. I don't, I'm over here. Okay, let me see what I'm doing. Let's say Georgia. Loses the Clemson week one, and you know, then after that they look good. Georgia lose Clemson, you know, by like three or a field goal or something, but then five points, you know, and then they run the table in the SEC, you know, and then they play uh, undefeated Belmont team in the SEC championship or undefeated Ace or undefeated West team in the SEC championship like LSU testing on Belmont with all. 
and then Georgia wins. So let's say Georgia wins the NCAA championship. And then you, of course, you got Ohio State. Let's say Ohio State and Oklahoma are undefeated. That's two spots. And then let's say Clemson, like I said, Clemson beat Georgia. You know, if we won, then they say that they go undefeated until the ACC championship. They lose ACC championship to a, like a one, a two loss, let's say two loss North Carolina team. You know, who who plays their best game of the year. And Clemson plays their worst game of the year. Then Clemson lose by like four or five points. So we got Clemson one loss, Georgia one loss, who wins the ACC championship. With, but you got Oklahoma and Ohio State already. You know, they undefeated. They win their championships. They come from championship. That's two. But then, like I said, you got Georgia. That's three. Who wins the SEC championship? Then you got the SEC West team. That's four. Who loses the SEC championship to Georgia by a close game. Then you got Clemson, who beats Georgia in week one. But, you know, look good in all the other games. But then they slip up. And mess around and have a bad game in the ACC championship and lose. That's five teams. Five. And don't even, and let, let's just say, you know, Oregon beats Ohio State. You know, let's say Oregon beats Ohio State. And then slip up to uh, a team they shouldn't. They lose. I like did like in Arizona State about two years ago, two seasons ago. And then, but they win the big, win the Pac-12 championship. So, then you have like, oh, we beat Ohio State, but Ohio State got in the playoffs. Or, you know, let's, like, it was, it's confusing because all those cause scenarios can happen. I know what people don't realize, like, you can literally have 16, it's five, it's a power five. It's five, it's the power five, bro. And like, there's only four spots. Power five for four spots. So let's say you have one loss, conference champions, but only four spots, but five of them is one loss. Then you got, oh, a lot of controversy, because I can say, I can tell you now. Let's say if Georgia beats Clemson, we going, and let's say they lose, the NCC championship in the close game, you know, like a game winning field goal or a game losing field goal. And, and Clemson, you know, dominate the ACC championship uh, opponent and gets in over Georgia for the fourth spot. I can tell you right now, Georgia fans, Georgia is going to be Georgia fan burning everything down. I ain't even lying because I might be there with them. <laughs> Georgia fans will be burning everything down, bro. Like, I'm telling you, like, but all that could be avoided. Cause I mean, think about it, you 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 beat Clemson. Imagine being Clemson. And then you know you lose to a Bama team and don't get in the playoffs. But Clemson won't get in the playoffs, even though you beat them. But because they playing like a two or three loss, ACC team, they get in. Over you. That would be boy. Boy, boy, boy. Georgia fans, but I'm telling you, they will burn everything up on site oh, in South Carolina. They will burn everything up in South Carolina. And everything up where Clemson plays at, like if they play in the Fiesta, like in Texas or whatever, they burn everything up in Texas and California or Rose Bowl, whatever. Burn everything up. That's just how it is. Like, so, the playoffs need to be expanded. Like, no oh, fans are busted by it. Like I said, you already got Oklahoma who dominating the Big Ten. Clemson dominating the ACC. That's two teams. Oh, then you got Oklahoma and Notre Dame go to the world. Now, Oklahoma basically dominating eight, the Big 12 to Texas, you know, TCU. Get that right and all that and other things. So that's three. Then you got Notre Dame who picks and choose their schedule. You know, that's four. Then, of course, you got an SEC team. That's five. Well, potentially two SEC teams, so seven. Then you got the Pac-12, who, who you know USC and Oregon could very well, you know, be the teams to beat in the next few years. I mean, 
Oregon signing like an SEC team. Like this time, Oregon been signing top 10 classes lately. You know, USC, you know, been signing some top players like Corey Foreman, you know, and Jackson Dart, Miller Moss, you know, Jackson Dart won the uh, National Gatorade Player of the Year. You know, so USC been signing some people too. So you got potentially seven to eight teams, but only four spots. Let's say you got a, a one loss Oregon, a one loss USC, a one loss Georgia, a one loss Clemson, a one loss Ohio State, a one loss Oklahoma, and a one loss Bell. Who will get in? Who will get in? All of them one loss. <laughs> People don't think it that way. People don't think about the scenarios like that. They just think, oh, this and that. You know, they not going to win in a way. Uh, Georgia just going to choke and, you know, lose to Belmont and lose to another team like they're supposed to do, like South Carolina. Like, y'all don't think about what if Georgia don't. Or what if Oregon finally, you know, do something. Or USC finally do something. Like, people don't look at it that way. So you got four teams. And you punish a team for playing Belmont or, you know, or like a 2019 LSU. Why this team, the other team, you know, is cruising through their conference and playing a weak team who would be like the fourth, like who would be like a fifth or sixth best team in the SEC. Like, come on, bro. Like, no, it's in the playoffs, please. And if you don't like it, then you you just ain't. You probably, like I said, you probably just a Ohio State, a, a Clemson fan or something. Like, you you just not thinking. Like, if you don't agree with staying in the playoffs, tell me why. Yeah. And we can go in and I can see your your point of view when you get in mind. Right? It's way better for college football to stand for the house. Simple.